Okay, Ken, you were talking about doing podcast or videocast. I was telling you that the Snagit tool from TechSmith is actually good enough to do that. They have a more expensive tool, Camtasia. You know, it does a little bit more. The top of the line tool that people generally use for professional quality stuff is Adobe Captivate, but uh, for 50 or 60 bucks, Snagit, you'll see, pretty much does the job. I can record in video, and uh, Jim, you wanted to know what cap rate Barb and I are looking for, so I got nothing else to do. I'll show you guys how to do both of those things. All right, I started out a spreadsheet. I'm going to give names to some stuff here. So I go to formulas, oh, define name. You can just barely see it. Boogers. Didn't make that big enough. And it says, uh, hey, you want to call uh, B, dollar B, four, dollar four. You want to call that cell. There's the name of it right there. Do you want to call that cost basis? It was smart enough to figure that out. And I said, yeah, sure. Sweet. Go ahead. Do it. Then I bump down to the next cell. OK, I'm just going to bang right through these. Bump down to the next cell. All right, I'm naming everything. Uh, you'll see how that's, hey, there's no need to do it. It's just useful when you look at formulas. You don't have to go trying to figure out all of these references to cells, you know. So it does make the formulas kind of long because they got big names in them, like cap rate instead of uh, just a cell reference. But you know, it's not bad. So if you ever wondered, uh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's supposed to be this guy over here. OK, right. Click that one. And he's going to figure out what that to be, my LTV. See, this spreadsheet is going to do two things. It'll work out the cap rate and it also is going to figure out given a particular loan to value interest rate and payoff period how much will my uh, you know it's hard to type and do this to say oh, boogers come on man ah geez uh, years it's supposed to be years okay all right years uh, what did I do wrong? Dollar F, dollar... Oh, shit, I've already named that guy. No wonder I don't want to name it again. Okay, so bump down there. Find the name. One more to go. So this will get the cap rate calculation that Jim wanted. Uh, I'm going to do a control S to save this thing right now. And it'll do, uh, you know, all that other junk. All right, so, Jim, suppose I put in 100 grand, and suppose the rent per unit is that much, and I got two units. The gross annual rent is going to be equal to the number of units, see how it grabbed that name, times the monthly rent times the number of months in a year. All right, I, I didn't uh, give data types to these things, so I mean, you know what they're supposed to be. The rule of thumb, depending on whose book you read, is that out of your gross, you get to keep about half of it. Half of it goes to taxes, uh, actual expenses, and then set-asides for vacancy, turnover, maintenance, blah, 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 blah. The bank, uh, they're going to say, no, we want to work your numbers assuming that 60% of what you take in is going to go to expense and your profit is only 40%. So the rule of thumb says 50-50, the bank says 60-40. In reality, turnkey, newly halved, single family property, uh, chances are expenses will only be 30%. But 
you know, that's what's cool about a spreadsheet. We can change all this stuff around. The net operating income, all right, that's an easy one. We just take what was the gross annual Uh, all right, boogers. Um, all right, it equals the gross annual. Uh, all right, I got it now. Sorry, just took me a few minutes. Uh, you start out with the gross annual. You think, sweet, that's all mine. The gross annual, I'm off to the bank. I made it all. The gross annual is mine. In reality, what you get is the gross annual minus the gross annual times what you're going to have to spend in expenses. In this case, it came to exactly half of the gross annual. Uh, now, this is where you get to mess around with Excel. You know, if you say, yeah, I'm going to do a lot better than that. My expense factor is only 0.3, so I take all of the money that came in and subtract from it my expenses, which would be just 0.3 times the gross annual. So GAI minus whatever that thing came to, and that's what I get. I'll mess around with it some more later. The cap rate is the amount of money that the property netted after operations, the net operating income divided by the amount of money that you put into it. So I got a cap rate, that's really a percent there, 13.4. And depending on, you know, the part of town uh, and depending on who you are, you, you might say that's okay, you might say it sucks, you know, you, you might say whatever. Uh, let's set this back to, you know, we'll just go straight rule of thumb. All right, now this is really getting, you know, kind of toward where it sucks. It's only a 10% cap rate. All right, I'm going to close the show, do another episode, and in the next episode, I'll show you, uh, you're going to dig this. That 10% uh, that cap rate, uh, you're actually going to make 30% on your money. You believe me? Check it out. See you on the next episode. Cheers.